Shaolin Monastery. Built deep in the heart of the Song Mountains in Henan Province over 1,500 years ago. It's home to the elusive Kung Fu warrior monks, the Chinese equivalent of America's cowboys, with almost superhuman fighting skills. But unlike most Hollywood settings, Shaolin Kung Fu is real. Though the temple itself has been destroyed and rebuilt time and time again, Shaolin is now a major corporation and its head monk is the CEO. They make millions off tourism every year. Some come to worship. Others dream of becoming Kung Fu warriors themselves. Even Westerners aren't immune. The monks make a killing selling certified sacred Shaolin fruit, honey, and nuts. But all those tourists are missing the most interesting thing about Shaolin. Nobody notices the steady trickle of monks disappearing around the corner behind the temple. They're heading for a rundown village filled with children, young boys mostly, living in boarding schools. It's a real life Chinese Hogwarts for aspiring young martial artists. Some start as young as five years old. The goal? To achieve supernatural powers and supreme wisdom expressed through Shaolin Kung Fu. But the reality is not nearly as glamorous as it sounds. They get up at 5 a.m. and run for miles before the sun comes up each day. Only then do they start to train. Among the 20,000 Chinese students, I find one young foreigner a 14-year-old Vietnamese boy called Pham Ong Zong. He read about Shaolin when he was 10 and convinced his parents to bring him here. I love the Shaolin Kung Fu. Like Harry Potter, Pham Ong Zong is very much an outsider. Maybe, maybe sometimes they, get, they don't like my culture and my country. So while his classmates are hanging out together, Zong finds other things to do. Writing some Chinese or drink some tea. Chinese tea. But even if you're popular, life is not easy here. They train relentlessly seven days a week. Every square inch of level ground is prime workout real estate. And there are no ninja fighting sticks or mystical techniques. Just dirt, sweat, cement, and a thousand repetitions. Shaolin Kung Fu gets passed on orally from master to disciple. There are over 700 series of movements. Though most students only learn the most popular 72. Their sensei is more than just a trainer. He's a father to these kids. 
The only break they get is when it rains and the training grounds become unusable. Meals are healthy and vegetarian. Served out of buckets and into bowls. And wolfed down in huge quantities. They bathe and brush their teeth in the alley out back. Sleep in crowded dorm rooms and do lots and lots of chores. Though they do get to relax from time to time and just hang out. Their energy is bottomless. They share everything, from bicycles to rollerblades. There's the other one. But the truth about these boarding schools is even more surprising. Shaolin, I find out, is where juvenile delinquents get sent. It's a boot camp for problem kids. The teachers deliberately work them half to death, channeling their aggression, teaching them absolute obedience. Buddhist moral values. They recite the Shaolin Code of Honor before every meal and spend hours listening to long lectures several nights a week. It seems to work. They're bone tired but they barely twitch. Zun soaks up every word. For entertainment, they're allowed the occasional sing-along. They sure don't look like bad boys to me. They all dream of becoming movie stars, or at least getting a place on the famous Shaolin Temple performing Kung Fu team. Most will eventually become policemen, or join the military. With one exception. I want to go in America. I very want to go in Harvard. 